This guide is to help explain how to determine what you require for your particular setup. Let's begin. Stoves. Cubic Mini offers the Cub and the Grizzly. Generally the Cub is for spaces under 200 square feet with low ceilings. And the Grizzly is for spaces up to 400 square feet. The Grizzly is better for winter. Whereas the Cub is more for spring and fall use. Mounting Options Aside from your own setup, there are two main ways of mounting the stove. On the wall or on the floor. Cubic Mini offers three wall mounts and two floor mounts. Wall Mounts all wall mounts reduce the clearance to the surface it is mounted to and below the stove. It also allows you to save square footage. The standard wall mount serves no other function but to reduce the clearances. The wall mount with sliding tray is used to catch any possible ashes or embers that could fall on the floor when refilling or cleaning the stove. Lastly the wall mount with fresh air intake replaces the air used by the stove without the need to open a window. If not used, a window must be opened. The wall mounts can be installed at your desired height. However, it is best to install it lower than higher. Normally installed with the stove at 30 to 36 inches from the floor to the top plate. This is for efficiency, ease of use and safety. You need a minimum of 30 inches from the top of the stove to a surface above, such as a ceiling. Floor mounts. The pedestal gets securely fixed to the floor. The stove would need to be kept at least 20 inches from nearby combustible surfaces. The floor mount with a rear heat shield allows the clearances needed from behind the stove to be reduced from 20 inches down to 3. Additional shielding. Additional shielding consists of the side shields and flue shields. When the stove is within 20 inches of a lateral surface, the side shield gets mounted to the surface you are protecting, which will cut the clearance down to 3 inches. Flue shields used to shield the wall from the heat of the flue pipe. The flue pipes have a clearance of 9 inches without shielding or 3 inches with shielding. When wall mounted, the flue pipe must be shielded the entire run up the wall. The flue shield extensions come in 30 inch lengths and are added to the amount that comes with the wall mount, which is 37 inches of flue shielding. Flue system The flue system is what evacuates the gases and allows the stove to work. The system consists of three main products the 3 inch double wall flue pipe, the exit kit, and the 5 inch insulated pipe. Take note that 24 inches of the insulated pipe is provided with the exit kit, as well as the trim plate, stainless steel rain cap, 3 to 5 inch adapter, support brackets and roof flashing, but does not come with any 3 inch pipe which needs to be purchased separately. How much pipe you require? To help figure out how much pipe you require, you can use the pipe calculation page or the build your order tool. The number of sections required of both the 3 and 5 inch pipes will depend on your measurements. The 3 inch pipe, gets installed on the stove and terminates one foot past the highest point of the roof. And the 5-inch pipe gets installed 2 inches below the ceiling and stops just below where the 3-inch pipe terminates. Exit Kits This is used to exit the 3-inch pipe safely out of the ceiling and roof. The exit kit is offered with either a 24-inch long section or two 12-inch long sections of the 5-inch insulated pipe. Having two 12-inch long sections is to have a removable portion on the exterior to have a low profile, typically when driving. Otherwise the pipe remains there all the time. When driving, the pipe can be plugged using the pipe plug. Accessories Cubic Mini offers several accessories such as a tool kit, fan, brush kit, fire starter, camping mugs and the Mini Roaster which is only applicable for the Grizzly. We also offer replacement items like insulation, baffles, and glass. All information needed to place an order can be found on our site, in places such as the support tab and the product pages. If you use the build your order tool, you can then take the list it generates and add it directly to the cart. Otherwise you can go to the product page and add it to the cart manually and complete your purchase. If you need any help, we can be reached through the information on the contact us page. We hope this was helpful. Thank you.